down a little today on Show and Tell. We're here to talk about death and near-death experiences. Today, I want to talk to you about death. I'm glad I came here for this. It wasn't like most kids where you have a pet that dies first, and that's how you sort of get the idea of it. I had pets, but they just lived forever. We had mice for a while, and one got loose, and it was stepped on. We had a gerbil that we kept in the basement. One night it was too cold in the basement, froze to death. Then I got fish, because fish are easy, but those die too. Then we got a kitten, and then I heard a blood-curdling scream from my mother. We didn't get any more pets after that. When I was little, my brother and I, when I was nine and he was six, um, were in a pretty serious car wreck. He was driving, his fault. These are the depositions, and what I really came to understand is that if you put them side to side, I'm just a way better witness. So just to start, right off the bat, this is my brother's opening repartee with the opposing lawyer. Where do you go to school? Montessori. What grade are you in? I don't know. How long have you been going to Montessori? I don't know. All right, here's my opener. Michael, where do you go to school? Maria Montessori Elementary School. Complete name, I could have given the address if I had to. What grade are you in? Fifth, sir. Are you kidding me? The first time that I really had to encounter death was because my parents went away to China and we got a postcard from my dad. And I was probably late twos, early threes. And my brother read it to me, and in the postcard, my dad had talked all about how my mom had been eaten by an octopus. And so my brother really laid it out for me that mom was never coming back. I couldn't contextualize that yet, because she had already been away for so long. I think it had been probably like five days. And so in my mind, I thought, well, so it's no different than right now, right? And he said, yeah, no different. And I went, oh, that's fine. So, continuing with my brother, the lawyer says, you can't just say uh-huh or yeah, you have to say yes or no. Is that clear? Okay. Is that a yes? Yeah. Is that a yes? Uh-huh. Over on my side, who's your favorite superhero? Spider-Man. Court dated documents, Dan O'Brien, that I am the OG Spider-Man fan on this site. The other time that I encountered death, I actually dealt it. There was a chipmunk on a class school. We were on like a field trip and it was up on a rock. And this kid, Steven Inverso, said, I bet you can't hit that chipmunk with that rock. The first time I finally got my license, I got in the car, I was all set to look wicked. And so I got in the car, pulled out of the driveway and I had a can of Coca-Cola. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a sip of this Coke while I'm driving and that's gonna look really, really cool. And this chipmunk was easily four football fields away. So I take a sip, but not in a cool way because it drips all over me. And I threw that rock. And I drop it on myself. And it sailed through the sky as if guided by providence. And I swerve into the left. And hit that chipmunk. And then I hit a car. So of course we went in for a closer look to examine this chipmunk and it was not doing well. I'm fine. It was still alive, but it had red pieces of it falling out, and not just blood, but like organs, I guess. My only thought was that I had to save this chipmunk by killing it. So I picked up uh, the rock that it had been standing on and dropped it. And I felt like I had really done something good. For my grand finale and the, the final nail in the coffin, which is sad, <laughs> not good terminology for this episode, two specially selected lines from my own deposition that I think prove that I'm by far the superior comedian in a car accident witness situation. Your brother stayed in the hospital too, right? Yeah, he was in the bed next to me. Had you ever been in a hospital before? Yeah, I was born in a hospital, but I don't remember it. You're welcome, Chipmunk. You're welcome. Roll sound. Roll cameras. And action. Hey guys, Brendan here. Just reminding you to subscribe to the Crack channel and everything. Hey, I started just like you. You know, but now I get to be an actor, I get to edit some videos, I get to walk the guy's dogs, I get to do laundry, I get to, um, I get to be called the third Katie a lot. Um, I get to uh, have my blood transfused completely uh, for a joke. So, yeah, I get to do... Jesus, Brad, what the fuck are you doing? Brendan, but yeah. Get out of my chair! Sorry. Hey there. Subscribe. Sword! What the fuck are you doing? It's Brendan, actually. Get out! Get out! I don't care who you are. Hey.
Thanks. Sorry. Subscribe. Dude, cracked. Brendan! I'm what sorry. are you doing? <laughs>